Hello there. My name is Cody Clark, and in this bit of empowerment, I like to talk about how you can make your life magical. Because when you live with a disability, it is important to learn self-advocacy skills. It is important to learn job skills and learn the essential skills behind socializing. But life is meant to be fun. It is not just about skill building. It is not just about job training, but life should be enjoyed. And thankfully there's enjoyment plenty. So in this video, I like to share with you three ways in which you can find out what makes life magical for you. Starting with one, discovering your interests and seeing which turn into hobbies. An interest is something that you're curious about. Something you see on TV, see on your phone when you're scrolling through the internet, or you hear a friend talk about and you're intrigued. You're like, I want to learn more. Interests are a more casual thing. You don't have to commit full blown to them, but you can take the time to learn the ins and outs of that interest to determine whether it's something you want to learn more about. And I go first to Wikipedia. It is a phone app and a website that is essentially a dictionary with basic articles on almost every subject. So when something interests me, I go to the Wikipedia app on my phone and I look up that thing and I learn the bare bone basics. And if it interests me, I can go to the Wikipedia sources or go to Google and find websites that are more specific, sometimes even hyper specific about that particular interest. And then that's when I decide whether or not I turn this interest into a hobby. A hobby is an interest that you commit to making a part of your daily life. It is beneficial because it gives you good challenges. I talk all the time about how the key to life is not eliminating challenges, but making sure most of your challenges are good challenges. Hobbies provide those good challenges. They give you stuff to do if you're free time. They give you a sense of purpose, meaning, and identity. And they give you friends that you can engage with. Which leads to number two, you can also make life magical by connecting with communities. A community is a group of people who socialize for a common purpose. Which on occasion can be just to socialize. But most of the time, it is about a particular interest. A lot of these clubs are in person. A lot of these clubs are meeting now virtually because of the pandemic. And there's Facebook and other social media groups where you can meet as well. You can learn about those through a Google search or through a Facebook search. A lot of times books on subjects will have a list of clubs in the back. And you can ask your friends where they hang out and I'm sure they'd be happy to have you join them. But do always keep yourself safe. Always be cautious when you're approaching a new community. Be sure that you let someone know where you're at or even take them with you to the first meeting. Be sure that you use apps like WhatsApp to communicate so you don't have to give out your personal information. And at the end of the day, trust your gut feelings about the group as to whether you should continue being a part of it or not. But at the same time, don't just stand back, be willing to engage, and three, try new things. You discover interests and discover communities by trying new things that you would have never thought that you would have liked. I understand how hard it is to try new things. When something is normal, it is something you're used to. It is something you're familiar with. Something you think you know how it acts at all times, so it's comforting. So when you try something new, that new thing can be scary at first. But once you try that new thing, and once the new thing is explained, it's not so scary anymore. Like here, now you know the reason the red ball turned to yellow is because I had one ball of each color this whole time secretly hidden in my hand. I only ever showed you 
the red one, leaving the yellow right here. Yes, that is right. The red ball is here because the yellow ball is here. And because the red ball is here, if I put it in my hand, I take out the yellow one instead. That new thing used to be scary. But now that you've tried it, and now that you know it's because this red one was in there as well, when I turn the red one into yellow, it's no longer scary. It is the same with trying new things. New things are scary at first, but once you try them, not only are they not scary anymore, but you'll find you are into new things and have made new friends too. New friends, new interests, and trying new things in general, those are the ways you can make your life as magical as this ball has been. Thank you. My name is Cody Clark. That is this bit of empowerment.